Well, happy Saturday, folks. It's a real Captain Kirk here. We're live from one Bethlehem Plaza here in downtown Bethlehem here on the 18th of May. Got about uh, 500 new folks uh, on YouTube subscribing, so I thought I'd explain why do I say the real Captain Kirk as opposed to that imposter Shatner on TV. Um, so I'm 35 years ago dating myself. I uh, had a nice walk with this uh, famous general, Stormin' Norman Schwarzkopf, and uh, forever changed how we think of scientists thinking asked us to think long-range weather um, a year ahead. Uh, so again, you have to pretty much dump everything you learn in physics at Rutgers and think statistics and climate cycles, and that's pretty much what we do today. So we do a year-ahead weather for temperate and snow by week by mile. That's 32 million spots on Earth, everywhere on Earth, uh, to help these folks predict seasonal sales. Um, so again, folks say it's impossible, but for 22 years we've been proving the impossible, that uh, it can be done um, successfully if you can think differently than physics. Uh, one thing we see in the oceans, though, physics-based, is just this rapidly developing La Nina, uh, clearly uh, getting into the neutral phase now. So we've collapsed out of the El Nino, and uh, all telltale signs here, you see the map here, where just much, much colder oceanic temperatures in the eastern equatorial Pacific, and the models left pretty much are all in agreement that we're at least going to be in moderate, if not a strong La Nina. Uh, one thing the models are hinting at, though, is that this may be a quick hit, uh, unlike the last three-year El Nino that preceded this El Nino. Uh, this one may be just a one-year wonder uh, at best, and then uh, we get back into a neutral phase and probably going to stay there for a year or maybe even two years um, after this La Nina event. So it'll have huge implications on our hurricane season and our winter ahead here. We know it's going to be La Nina at least uh, for the rest of this year, just so we can see all this really cold water below the Equatorial Pacific, so this is going depths, you know, down uh, several hundred meters. So a lot of cold water down there, much below average, and uh, again, that is bubbling to the surface. So again, it's going to be with us for, you know, the rest of this year into early 2025 before it uh, begins to warm up once again. Look at severe weather again. It's been active for sure. We added another 89 tornadoes, 209 hail events, 476 wind events here this past week. Tornadoes continue on their toward pace. We're at the most in seven years and the top 11% of history. Hail's above average, wind's above average, uh, even though those two metrics are trending a little bit below last year. But um, again, obviously a severe weather, uh, active severe weather season. And we expect that trend to continue for at least the next 45 days, at least, again, for the heart of the severe weather season, which runs through at least June. And then, well, unfortunately, we'll be talking hurricanes, and we think that's pretty crazy as well. Look at last week's world summer here ending today, 18th of May. Here in the U.S., uh, second week in a row of 0 0.3 cooler than last year, coolest in three years, still seventh warmest of the past 39 years. 63% wetter than last year, wettest in four years, third wettest in 39 years, so much above average rainfall. Once again, just wet, wet, wet uh, has been the theme this year. There in the U.K., almost had the ideal trends for retail sales. Warm and dry is usually the best weather for seasonal sales, store traffic, but... Uh, they were wet, 642% um, wetter, wettest in three years, ninth wettest, so wet over there in the U.K. Um, uh, China, uh, warmest in six years and dry, so if, if there was any demand, it would be in uh, China, which, again, not too many of the U.S. retailers care about that, and, uh, again, world trend is just the wettest in 22 years. Look at the May trends here now. Part of this is in the history books, and part of this is a two-week forecast here, but it looks like May is going to end up being the warmest in six years, wettest in five years nationally. Tell it to have uh, much colder. Now, these trends maps for trends versus last year kind of tells us something how seasonal sales might be performing. So if you're colder and wetter in the northwest, uh, probably not great for fans, shorts, T-shirts, you know, bottled water sales. And again, we've seen the retail sales numbers in April. They were horrible. Uh, even the home centers had a, a really rough April blaming the weather because of all the rain. Uh, so precip map right, again, year over year trend. So precip's trending, again, wet in five years. So it's just wet. And unfortunately, these weekends have been uh, lousy in the east. Again, we had another kind of gloomy Saturday here today. And uh, good news is we'll parse out a nice Sunday here tomorrow here in the in the east. Um, looking at this week again, a week, hard to believe, week prior to Memorial Day weekend here. A um, little better trend, uh, 2.1 warmer than last year, warmest in three years, fifth warmest in 39 years. Do not like the maps here. If you see the cold to the northwest, warm and humid to the right, um, classic severe weather signature. You never want cold weather up in front of you because that just means there's cold fronts coming in to this warm, juicy air, and that's just a very strong signature of uh, severe weather, tornadoes, thunderstorms, severe weather. We could rainfall uh, up a bit, 49% wet in last year, 16th wettest in 39 years. Uh, all that heavy rain, probably where they don't they need it, but they don't want it this time of year. Farmers are out there planting in Iowa and Minnesota, Wisconsin. So a lot of rain and severe weather for them to contend with, uh, but they'll take it. Uh, Minnesota, or Wisconsin, some of those areas still have a little bit of lingering drought from a year ago. It's pretty much evaporated in terms of this year. but um, So they'll take the moisture, but again, unfortunately, right when they're out there planting. Uh, and if we look at the three-day severe weather outlook, uh, this trend actually continues into this uh, next week here. So you see it shifting from the southeast uh, back into the central plains and the midwest as we get into the early next week. It will be shifting even more into the heart of the Midwest, uh, 
Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, uh, again with that cold weather to the northwest and warm, juicy air to the to the right of it. Look at next week, the week of Memorial Day, which is on Monday. Um, uh, 0.5 warmer than last year, 15th warmest in 39 years. Same general trend of kind of the warmer to the south and east and that cooler trend in the heartland. Again, somewhere in the middle is where you tend to have your severe weather, and that's what we see here chart left. Um, you know, severe weather potential from Kansas, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio. So shifting a bit um, for, for the last week here of May. Uh, rainfall up about 109% versus last year. Wettest in three years. 15th wettest in 39 years. Let me just aggregate these two-week trends here through the 1st of June here. Again, hard to believe almost uh, zipping through 2024 here. But um, again, general theme is uh, warmer south and east in the U.S. and cooler north and central and even there in south-central Canada. Europe, uh, again, western Europe, uh, a little bit cooler. Um, the warmer conditions would be more in the eastern part of Europe. And precip maps are inset left. Look at the total aggregating rainfall and snowfall here. So we're just getting a little bit of left uh, snow here. We'll... Uh, Keep it going for a little another few weeks, but you actually still got some of the Rocky Mountains. So again, still seeing high elevations getting snow, but uh, all that three, four, five plus inch rainfall in the for, this is a two week total now from uh, the heartland. So definitely ample soil moisture for these crops. Again, pro we're predicting a record breaking crop here. Um, you know, planted a few a little less acreage than they did last year for for corn, but um, going to be a huge crop with all this rain and soil moisture going into the season here. So that's. Good news in that regard. So with that, folks, we hope you have a great week, and we'll be back here again this time next week. Mm -hmm.